is in honor of a former client of mine. His name is Chase Potter, and he was diagnosed with autism at the age of two. So we wanted to honor his memory because unfortunately at the age of four, he passed away from E. coli. And my husband, Stephen, loves hockey, and he wanted to do something to honor his memory. So that's what started the Bruising Cup. I'm Angie Potter. My name is Paul. I'm Justin Potter. Dennis Miller. And Susan Miller. Chase was born November, or I'm sorry, May 6, 2007, and he was a little before he turned two. He was diagnosed with autism, and Olivia was one of our ABA therapists that worked with Chase, and he was just a wonderful little boy, um, really happy, really great giggle. Lit up a room, and uh, right after he turned four, he um, contracted a, a rare bacteria, E. coli 0157, which progressed to a, a syndrome called HUS. And he um, unfortunately passed away uh, November 4th, 2011. Is this guy, is this really hit somewhere deep for you guys to have all these people coming here in honor of Chase? Oh, it means so much. Yeah, it really, it, it's such a great event, and it's for such a great cause, and it, it just it it's, makes me want to cry every year. It's just such a great honor to be a part of, and I'm so I couldn't be more thankful to Olivia and Steve for putting this on, especially in memory of Chase. And has autism affected uh, your life in any way? Yes. Um, my seven-year-old son was diagnosed, and uh, I had a 22-year-old cousin. Do you have a second cousin? She has autism? But I have three nephews that have autism. I actually have some uh, a family member who's autistic, and uh, so it does kind of hit near and dear to, to the heart. So. Um, one of my nephews has autism. I actually have two grandchildren that have uh, Autism. My five-year-old son Kelly uh, was diagnosed with autism earlier this year. Yeah, today we're uh, raising money and awareness for kids with autism. We're sponsoring local charity Action for Autism, which is based out of Ellisville. And today we're, uh, we're helping these kids get services that uh, they don't have access to. Susan's already here. Yeah, I know, so I'm trying to find Good morning. <laughs> it is going to be quite the challenge all morning long. So most of the folks had mowed off by a phone earlier this morning, and they told us they have already pre-treated a lot of the area roads because we were talking about right. five to nine inches. Here we go. So uh, it'll, be, uh, it'll be entertaining. It'll
to Chase. Okay? So Chase was four years old, he had autism. He passed away a few years ago. We dedicate this whole thing to him. So, uh, what were you yeah, let's So, the first thing we're going to do to get the game on is we're going to do a moment of silence. Frozen Cup. They don't call it the Frozen Cup for nothing.